Yeah, <laughs> of course. Um, um, the pre-season, I said before, the game was so far really good. Well, well, sorry, a lot of games. We played a lot of games. We we didn't lose one. Um, yes, two draws. Yeah, we should lose, lost in penalty shoot against Atletico, but that's a good sign. Uh, Performance-wise, it was most of the time good or even better. A few weaknesses, clear. When you saw it today, first half, half an hour, I would say brilliant football. <laughs> um, lost organization, uh, gave them two opportunities and changed the game a little bit. Then we had to run. was not happy with this 15 minutes, but on the other side, it's very important that you have it. Because um, perfection in pre-season is the biggest mistake you can make because it always leads to the wrong decisions. And um, we know that we have to be really concentrated to, 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 to be really stable. When we are stable, we are a real threat and we can play really good football. Everybody could see the second half then. Very young side, not just young, but a very young side. And uh, struggled a little bit in the beginning and then yeah, opened the, not sure if you use it, the chest and, a, and played. It was nice to see, looked smart. Oh, I'm happy. For you as the manager this season, hopefully you'll qualify for the Champions League group stages. How do you manage the squad with so many extra games this year? Because the battle to get in the top four in the Premier League will be massive again, plus all European games. Well, we'll see them, and they can manage them, we manage it. Um, today we had. Um, Everyone knows about the injury of Adam Lalana, which is a big blow. Um, but this team dealt with so many difficult situations, I will deal with this too. And Phil had um, um, back problems yesterday and today, so it was not, no reason for any risk. Same with Hendo, had a little problem, nothing, my muscle was a little bit ill, so we said, okay, also no risk for today. Daniel, of course, a little, little muscle, but so um, squad is big, and um, I thought especially today a few boys showed really up. And um, so yeah, we will manage it when we can manage it, and we will we will rotate. That's clear, but um, that's not my problem in the moment. I I prepare the Watford game from tomorrow on, and then the next game, and then the next game, and then I think about how we can do this. You mentioned there that. In the second half, it was a very young team on the pitch and very good goal by Ben Woodburn. How do you see a young player like him and young players at the club trying to make the breakthrough to the first team with the amount of money being spent? We've seen Neymar this week for such a big fee and fees will probably rise for, for a good young player to try and get into your team at Liverpool. I don't think that we have to compare now everything and, and, or bring it in um, together with the Neymar case or gate or whatever or transfer and um, so for a young player in my team will always be space so that's about it's about a player and we saw in the beginning in the first five ten minutes from Benny he struggled and it's like it's normal so it's a hard reason for him he's still 17 he turns 18 in October so we, we try to keep him out as often as possible because we have to treat him still like a 17 year old boy and he's doing really well everybody can see his skills but he struggled in the beginning and then he he changed the game with a nice goal and then he was in the game and then he played really well. That's how it is. Young players have these ups and downs, so but that's nothing has nothing to do with big transfers on the other hand side. Hi. Thank you. Yeah, we have always said until the 31st of August we, we all have we all run through the world with open eyes, so that's clear. But um, that's not we decide about alone about these things, not the club, not we, we have to. That's all about other clubs and uh, our situation. I thought today, or this preseason brought us new players, if you want. Alberto Moreno is 100% back which is very nice after a really difficult year. He's back 
Um, Andrew Robertson shows all the skills. Um, he has, of course, still to adapt. He's not too long in to do our kind of football, but you can already see what a threat he can be offensively. That means Milly is free for midfield, so we have, without being on the transfer market, we have a new midfield player, which is nice. Um, Dom Solonki, I think before the season everybody thought maybe he's a pure addition, maybe he is this because he has time, but he already showed also that he's ready for some adult football. Don't want to. Oh, Ryan Kent. I know him, meanwhile, one and a half year, and last year he developed unbelievable, and this preseason is completely different to last preseason. She showed really up, it's nice. So we have, without taking too much money for these players because they were pretty much all ready hours or um, not the highest transfer fee. We have additions in the squad, so that's good. Give our final watches. Um, I noticed after the game a few of the players went over to get pictures with, with the fans, yourself as well. Um, obviously there's one fan who's a little bit too keen to go to the with Sonia and Marnie, but um, it's a nice thing that I've noticed you try and do in all, all the countries that you visited is not just come and play, but also to connect with the fans who are here. Is that something that you talk about with the squad? Uh, no, I talk about, no, we didn't talk about it. I decided we, have, we will do it, but it's uh, normal that the manager decides this. If the players, if I say they have to go in because they are uh, it's cold, whatever, it's rainy, then I decide go in wherever we are. But um, I said it um, a few minutes ago, I was really touched by the atmosphere, to be honest. So it was when we came in the stadium, when we drove through the city, when we arrived at the hotel already. Um, that was really, really special today. Um, I, didn't, I, knew, I heard about it, that obviously Dublin is quite a LFC city. No, I know it is completely different to feel it and um, I thought it makes absolutely sense that we try to give a little bit back. That's always a problem. When we left the hotel today after tra after um, before the game, there were 500 people minimum. But if you if you give one an autograph, then at this point still 499 and we don't have time. So that's always a little difficult. Today we tried to, sp to spread a little bit. Hopefully um, we could make a lot of these fans happy. And um, so, because they made us happy, it was not a walk alone before the game was outstanding, during the game was outstanding, um, after the game even special, so really, thank you Dublin, that was a really special experience. Fantastic. Thank you guys and thank you for your uh,